Welcome to Noah's Story Time. Today we are at Kamikoji Kapabas. And today's story is Cordula. Cordula. Story and pictures by Don Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him with them. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped looking straight into Corridor's bright eyes. Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the, bear. there's the bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I've spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button of, to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. He didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can fight it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor his lo for his left shelf uh, button. Suddenly, he felt the do floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped on onto an X lighter, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. He stepped, he stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of bed. This might be a palace, Gordo, I guess. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered, he wandered around admiring the f furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled into a large, thick mattress. All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried. He tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop. Off came the button. And off the mattress, corduroy toppled. Bang! Into a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was something else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor, but when he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Someone must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over the sofa's beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. There he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman, the watchman tucked Cordura and under his arms and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls.
Porter was just waking up when the first customers came to the, into the store in the morning. And there looking at him with a wide, warm smile was the same little girl she could only see the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? So the sa sales lady said. Oh no, thank you, Lisa answered, as she carried her the way home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted to be a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end.